Hi everyone, Pete Snow here for Xylem Rental Solutions and today we're talking about troubleshooting the Godwin Dry Prime pump when it won't prime. However, let me start by saying that the Godwin Dry Prime pump has industry leading reliability and durability, but sometimes things happen and you need to get up and pumping. Now, there are several things that could contribute to the pump not priming, but to keep the video short and to the point, I'll cover the most common ones first and then touch on some of the less frequent ones towards the end. In addition, I'll keep a running list of things I've covered right above me here. First things first, to troubleshoot the Godwin Dry Prime pump, it helps to understand how the priming system works. The Godwin Dry Prime pump features an automatic priming system using a Venturi, which is fed by high pressure air from an onboard air compressor. When you start the diesel engine, a belt drives the compressor that sends high pressure air to the Venturi, which is located above and behind the suction flange. The Venturi evacuates the air from the volute and the suction hose. Meanwhile, a check valve on the discharge keeps air from entering the volute during the priming sequence. Once the air from the suction hose has been removed, water enters the volute, opens the discharge check valve, and pumping begins. It's also important to understand that priming times will vary based on the diameter and the length of the suction hose. Larger diameters and longer suction hose distances will significantly add to priming times. But let me just say that a six inch pump with 30 foot of suction hose or about 10 meters should prime within a minute or so. But if you've waited a significant amount of time and the pump isn't pumping, check out the following. But first, make sure you have the proper PPE, personal protective equipment, before working on a pump to avoid injury. Perhaps the most common reason that the Godwin Dry Prime pump doesn't prime is air entering the volute from the atmosphere. Now, air can enter several ways. One of the most common is through the volute drain valve, which is located directly underneath the suction connection to the pump body or volute. This valve is opened after the pump is shut down to drain water from the suction hose and the volute. And to be honest, sometimes people forget to close it before starting the pump up again. Plus, in freezing conditions, this valve should always be left open when the, along with the non-return valve drain valve when the pump is off so that trapped water doesn't freeze, expand, and possibly crack the cast iron NRV valve or volute. Now, if the pump still won't prime, check to see if the suction screen is plugged. A good tip here is to tie a rope to the suction screen when you put it in the water so it's easier to pull it out. If the pump still won't prime, check the seal of the non-return valve ball and the valve itself. Remember I said it has to seal completely to keep air from entering the volute from the discharge. To check this, remove the lid of the NRV and clean the ball and seat surfaces, then reassemble and start the pump. Yes, if you're still having problems, check that the air compressor is functioning properly. An easy way to check this is to start the engine and see if there's a stream of air coming out of the leak off hose that's connected to the outlet of the Venturi assembly shown here. If there's no air coming out and the engine is running, the onboard air compressor may not be turning. If the belt is loose or has broken, the air compressor won't put out high pressure air and the pump won't prime. Now, a loose or broken belt will require servicing from your local Xylem Rental Solutions Service Center or an affiliate. If the compressor is working properly, check that the screen in the ejector housing is clean. To access the screen, remove the four nuts on the studs of the ejector housing. If the screen is plugged, air can't get through and be evacuated from the volute and suction hose, so the pump won't prime. Clean the screen, reassemble the ejector housing, and start the pump. Now, if you're still having problems and you hear this loud popping sound at the compressor, that's the sound of the pop-off or air relief valve on the air compressor, which is relieving high pressure air from the compressor. Why? Well, most likely because the Venturi is plugged with debris. To clean the Venturi, loosen the shoulder bolt on the side of the ejector housing and use a screwdriver to pry down the Venturi or grab the leak off hose and give it a good pull. Check the inlet of the Venturi for debris. After cleaning it, 
reassemble the Venturi system and start the pump again. Now some problems can be a little bit more elusive. One of the most elusive is an air leak on the suction hose or a collapsed suction hose. Now suction hose is rigid to withstand lower atmospheric pressure during priming and pumping. Sometimes the inner tube of the suction hose disconnects from the rigid core and collapses under the lower atmospheric pressure. Since the hose looks round from the outside, it's almost impossible to see unless you disconnect the suction hoses, shine a flashlight through them, and then look for the collapsed inner tube. Lastly, check the O-rings in the suction hose joints for rips or tears. These could allow air to enter, which will keep the pump from priming. Hopefully these tips on troubleshooting will get you up and pumping in no time. For more assistance with prime issues or for information about Godwin Dry Prime Pumps in general, contact your local Xylem Rental Solutions pump expert. For Xylem Rental Solutions, I'm Pete Snow. See you next time.